Welcome back. I'm going to continue making my engine here, the Mini V8 engine. Now that I have the engine block and the pistons all made, I'm going to make some connecting rods. Um, they're made out of this flat brass bar, or they will be anyway. I've attached it to a small piece of wood to give uh, extra support as I cut it out and to give me something to hold on to. I haven't really cut something out or that many of something out that's that small and detailed before. So that'll be a little bit on the challenging side. I've made some pilot holes to put the blade through rather than cutting in from the sides. That'll help the piece of metal hold its structure together as I cut the little pieces out. Connecting rods cut out from the brass very nicely, very easily, uh, much easier than I thought they would. I tried to cut it out from one side to the other, never cutting through this, the ends and stuff to keep as much of the piece of brass intact to uh, give support as I cut them out. Um, now that they're cut out, I'm going to just use a small sanding disc in my drill press to kind of smooth off the ends and parts that stick up and I should have a pretty good set of connecting rods. I've done a bunch of sanding, shaping on the ends, and just verify that they all fit appropriately in the pistons. So the uh, connecting rods should work out pretty good. Now I'm going to move on to uh, doing the pieces of the crankshaft. I'm going to make that out of a little thicker brass bar, attach that to the plywood like before, and. I used a brand tip drill bit and just uh, use that to kind of center punch or uh, make a divot in the, the brass to guide my 16th inch drill bit when I drill through. Otherwise it'll have a tendency to wander on the metal. Here's the crankshaft web all cut out and uh, sanded up. I'll be making the crankshaft out of this uh, stainless steel rod here. It's a 16th inch. But first I need to make some spacers to figure out uh, to keep things all lined up in between uh, the pieces. So for that I'm going to make some small plastic washers. Uh, right. For the spacers I just have some scrap plastic. Then I made a small a tube, kind of tapered and roughed the end a little bit. Then 
don't need to tighten it much. Tying it up there. They don't really have to be perfect. Well, I'm just going to stick to push that out. See how it came out. And the finished product looks something like that. That'll go nicely in the uh, crankshaft. Okay, I have my template here for the crankshaft. Basically going to just uh, wrap tape around the shaft, put it in a vise, make little marks. The marker on, on the tape where I'm going to cut it off and cut it off with a grinding disc. Okay, I'm starting to assemble it. It's kind of hard to get this to focus on something this small. Basically, I'm stacking the spacers in like that the connecting rods. I'm basically tapping these pieces together right now with a small hammer and they're actually fitting together pretty tight so at least for the initial run it's just going to be tapped together just to see how it goes. I thought I might try super glue because a lot of times that binds metal pretty good together but it uh, doesn't look like I'll need it. I'll just keep stacking the and assembling the crankshaft like so. Took a bit to get the crankshaft together. This is my intended layout here. So it's not perfect, but uh, probably good enough to work. Okay, I've attached the uh, crankshaft here. It's not working so well. A um, couple issues. The, this piston is bottoming out, which is a bit of an issue. This can, I think, needs to come over here. This to the uh, right. But uh, that is kind of the problem with making something this small with the kind of tools I have. I should have gave myself a little more room for error in the design, maybe made the engine block a hair longer. I would have... Uh, I only have room for 3 64ths of an air, inch error at the end of the stroke. And I could have left a little more room there. But I do have roughly a 16th of an inch then I can sand off the bottom of the piston. So if bringing this over slightly one way doesn't help. Actually this shortening the piston might. It's also binding a bit, but a little lubrication will probably take care of that. So hopefully in the next video I'll have the engine running. Thanks for watching.